Hey guys, this is Rob Lurch, and today I'm going to be giving you a complete overview of the Practice Portal Pro from the School of PE online course. This is my absolute favorite tool that I use to prepare for the PE exam, and it really helped me pass. If you're interested in the Practice Portal Pro and the School of PE online course, I'll put the link in the description below, so definitely check that out. Here we have the main interface of the School of PE online course, and let's focus in on the Practice Portal Pro. So you have two options. You're allowed to build your own exam and they give you so many problems to choose from. And they also give you five pre-made exams. So as you know, the real PE exam is 80 questions. You have 40 breadth questions and 40 depth questions. Now I did the water resources and environmental depth. So that's what we have here for the depth. We have test one and two, which are two breath exams, 240 minutes each. That's four hours. And each one is gonna be 40 questions. And then three depth exams, 240 minutes each. That's four hours again, 40 questions each. Let's focus in on building your own exam first before I show you what the actual pre-made exams look like. So when you build your own exam, you have all the topics on your PE exam laid out here. This is the amount of questions for each topic. You can choose the level of complexity for each question. And if you wanna make an actual PE exam, you'll see the amount of questions here. Of course, you're gonna choose 80 because that's how many are on the real exam. You can see if you want the solutions shown at the end or as you go, and then you'll title your exam. Now let's look at one of the pre-made exams, how well I did when I chose it. Now you can take it as many times as you want. My first attempt, I got an 87%, which is pretty good. So if we wanted to attempt it again, this is the main screen, what it looks like. Like I said, 240 minutes, that's four hours. Total number of questions is 40. You start the exam and this is question one. This is why I love the Practice Portal Pro because you see that timer up here, which is what you'll see on exam day. Now, if you do have to take a break, you can pause the exam and then resume it as you will. You can see the timer has paused. So we hit resume, share will resume. As you go through your problems, you know, let's say you chose B for this one, A for this one, you can see how your pace is. Remember, 80 questions on the real PE, that is out of eight hours of test taking time, that's six minutes per question. So keep that in mind when you're doing your practice problems and you know doing your practice exams on the Practice Portal Pro. Let's go to question three here. Now let's say you get stuck. This is why I really like the Practice Portal Pro. You can actually flag the questions for review that you get stuck on. Let's say you get stuck on the next one. You want to flag this one, right? Once you're finished with your exam, you can hit end exam. And this is really cool. You can review all the problems you went through, review the flagged ones, which is similar to what you actually can do on the real PE. You can go back and review the flagged ones, and then you can review any unanswered problems. Let's say we review all the flagged ones, all the problems that were good to go. We hit submit. And then I'll tell you your score right off the bat. I got a zero out of 40. Obviously I only answered like two or three questions and I guessed on them, but I want to show you what it looks like when you actually break down your score. This is the depth test one for the water resources and environmental on this exam on my second attempt, I got a 75%. So let's look into that. Now I want to say a 75% isn't too bad. On the real PE exam, you need about a 70% to pass. So this is a passing score. We look at the question metrics. I got 30 questions out of 40 correct, 10 incorrect, and I attempted all the problems here. Like I said, I got a 75%. Here I'll show you your total test taking time, breakdown of the complexity of the problems you got correct. So I got 50% on easy, 79% on medium, and 100% on hard, which is a bit odd. Looking down here, we have a breakdown of all the different topics. So as you can see on water treatment, I didn't do too hot, 66%. On wastewater treatment, I did worse, 33%. So these are the topics that I knew I had to go back and study more. I went back to my lecture notes, watched the lecture videos again, and did more practice problems. Really improve on these topics. You know, you can see I did well on an analysis and design, engineering and economics, I crushed. Going down further, you can see all the problems that you took in the practice exam, the time you took to solve each one. You know, this is fine, three minutes, three minutes, one minute, but on these problems, it took a lot longer, so I really have to you know, improve on those times. On the left side here, check marks means we got the problems correct, X marks means we got them incorrect. You can look at all the solutions to all the problems. I went back to the ones that got incorrect. Here we have the question again the correct solution, 
the solution laid out, and even the reference back to the reference manual. This is why I love the Practice Portal Pro. I was able to see my scores, a breakdown of all the topics, and of course, all the solutions to the problems I got incorrect, keeping in mind that timer and seeing how well my pace was as I went through all the practice exams. That is basically the Practice Portal Pro in a nutshell. If you guys are interested in the School of PE online course and the Practice Portal Pro, I highly recommend it. It really helped me pass the PE exam. I'll put the link in the description below, so definitely check that out. If you did enjoy the content, please tap the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos. You can follow me on Instagram at the Alert to this Monster. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.